the opening round of this year's impossible to predict title race. Looks like it could get pretty feisty. They're gonna make contact! Guys, what the f is that? Seriously? When I've done well, it's the best feeling in the world. Bad days, they're hard to swallow. So I can be a bit of a brat <laughs> for days. The most competitive motorsport series on the planet is back. Welcome to the seventh season of the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship and the Diria E Prix. This is the start of a new era. The status of Formula E has now officially changed to an FIA World Championship. We've got a grid of 12 teams, 10 global manufacturers. We've also got some new drivers. We've got three new rookies, Nick Casti, Jake Dennis, and Norman Nato. But the big talking point, Sam Bird, one of the originals from Formula E. He's been at Envision Virgin Racing for his entire Formula E career. He's now in at Jaguar Racing. James Barkley, the man in charge, has said that having Sam Bird join the team is the missing jigsaw piece. Is there a lot of pressure? Mitch has always felt it's his team. These guys have got to work together, though, because they could quite easily start fighting amongst themselves and it could implode. Six months since, uh, since I've traveled for a race. I was almost like a bit emotional in the, in the taxi coming in. Uh, that feels so, so good. So Mitch has been on the journey with, with Jaguar Racing right since the start. You know, it's been an amazing journey together so far and um, he's been the driver we've had all the success with to date and um, yeah, very much part of the family. My mask looking good. Beautiful, mate. Yeah. Beautiful. Amazing. But the one piece sometimes the jigsaw we haven't always got right is the second driver. To be honest, I've been asking for this for a while. Um, you know, for, for a teammate that can really challenge me. Um, and I, I, I don't mean to be like sound arrogant when I say that. On the final lap comes Mitch Evans. It's a standing ovation. Mitch has scored over 80% of the points for the team the majority of years. So Sam has to at least step up to be his equal. I'm an unashamed Sam Bird fan. I love the, his, his style of driving a car. Yes, guys! Come on! Definitely see he's one of the marquee drivers. Um, and we associated him with, you know, the, with the Virgin team, the Envision Virgin team as it became. Um, so for him to move to Jaguar was a, was, was a really was a big move. He's the only driver to win a race in every season. He's got nine wins in that time, but each season he's had to watch his closest on-track rivals win the championship. Five other guys have done it and he hasn't. The best he's finished is third, and yet he's still considered one of the top drivers in this championship. I, I know what Sam is capable of doing. You know, his, his stats, you know, blow mine away. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not delusional in that. Obviously he's coming to a team that I'm very much at home with, but uh, look, all I can do is my best. If that's not enough, then that's not enough. We ready, guys? Yep. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> right, three, two, one. Sam's very good at dealing with pressure. Uh, he's, not, he's not very good at dealing with frustration. I've, I've wanted this championship so badly from year one um, that there's pressure to make this move work. When I've done well, it's the best feeling in the world. Bad days where you've been involved in a tangle, not scored any points, not been quick enough, they're hard to swallow. It, it hurts. So I can be a bit of a brat, I suppose. Bit of a t <laughs> for days. Last year here in Saudi Arabia, the um, Sam and Mitch had a coming together right there, actually. And um, yeah, it was. When a rock meets a hard place, they both thought they were in the right. Um, it was an ambitious place to try and pass. I mean, I think we've both accepted we're both wrong at, at different points of that incident. Completely Mitch's fault. No. <laughs> um, no, I think, do you know what? 
I gave Mitch the opportunity to look down the inside. Um, so I have to take part responsibility in it. I, I think it was more of a racing incident than anything else. A series like this, as competitive and close and physical as it is, there's, you're gonna have coming together with, uh, I think, the majority of the field at some point. But now that they're teammates, there is the golden rule, and you do not hit your teammate. A lot of people would love to see Sandbird succeed. Um, is Jaguar the right place to do it? It's a big gamble. So Mitch Evans, he, he's a quality driver. And we've seen these, these flashes of, of brilliance for him. Um, last season, the race in Mexico, he was in a different car, different you know, postcode that day. He was just gone. Through the final corner, one of the most dominant races in the history of the championship, Mitch Evans wins in Mexico City. I'm Christina. I work as the performance engineer at Mitch's car. So when Mitch crossed the finish line in Mexico, I remember I had the, the mouse on my, on my hands and I knew the mouse was going all over the place, but there wasn't anything else I could do. It was just my reaction. I couldn't do anything different there. Going into Berlin, he was lying in second place in the championship. And then we thought, oh, this is, you know, this is a bit tasty. He's got a good chance at the championship and it, and it fell apart. Good to hit Evans, and Evans is sent spinning around. Evans now slips down to fourth position and very slim chances of the title. Yeah, Berlin, Berlin was a strange one. Um, I tried to put it to bed pretty quick and move on, but it was, it was very hard to, you know, I, I was pretty, pretty down about it for a few weeks, but that's, that's motorsport, right? That, that's just the brutal nature of the sport. When things don't go well, I think it's, it's the learning that you get out of it. I, I don't necessarily um, get over it super quickly, but certainly you try to move over onto the next thing as quick as you can, because otherwise it's just going to uh, hold you back. We're excited. I'm excited to get back. I think we all are. And um, yeah, hopefully we can start off strongly here in Saudi. The most competitive motorsport series on the planet is back for the opening round of this year's impossible to predict title race. When I'm on the grid, it's laser beam focus. You know, you're absolutely clued into those lights. I don't think I blink. It's almost like it's in slow motion. Obviously a lot of voices going on in your head, but you, you need to be able to cope with that. And that's very hard to teach. And I think that's what, what it comes down to the guys that can win races and championships to the guys that can't. De Vries on pole, Verline alongside him on the front row of the grid. Raston Mortara are on the second row. Lynn and Evans behind them. And we go green under the lights. What a good start for Verline, a lot of wheel spin. That could give Rast an opportunity on the right-hand side in the 33 car to get him into second place. And Verline locks up. He manages to make the corner. The other Porsche of Andre Lotterer goes in a little bit deep. Everybody safely through the first corner. There's an attack from Mitch Evans, trying to go side by side with Alex Lynn. Just about give each other enough room. So a Formula race is, is, is very, very complicated for, for the teams. It's very stressful for, for us behind the wheel because we, we start the race with 100% in our battery, but the length of the race is actually too long for us to finish if we were going flat out every lap. Actually, Mitch Evans is protecting the inside as he lifts and coasts. You gotta try and find the most efficient, fastest way to make it to the end of the race when the pressure's on. Go ahead, just push it hard, let's push it hard. Copy, just follow our plan. There's no chance he's going the same level as us. I, I try and train myself to be able to cope with any type of threat. For me, Formula E is like the, the, the world's fastest game of chess. I mean, it's a late move over, Bird's on the dust. Bird gets past. Come on. There's so many different things going through our heads at one time. We're not focusing on the corner itself. We're thinking about the car in front, the car behind, our energy, what I need to do, where's that guy weak, where's he strong behind, where's our strategy at, when should I take attack, when should I defend, all these kind of things while going as quickly as possible. 
There is Mortara now. He needs to make use of his attack mode. He pulls to the right hand side, pulls ahead of Evans. It's three wide as they come down into the corner, and Evans is taking fair line two. You've got to outsmart other drivers. You've got to outwit them, outthink them, and, and I think that's what makes Formula E so tricky, so difficult, so unique. That was mighty from Mortara. Centimeters, millimeters from disaster. There you see the reaction from the team principal. That was, I think that's one of my favourite overtakes in Formula E and Sam Bird goes to the inside, Lim puts him in the wall! Oh, come on! Did you see that? Did you see him defending? Just drove me into the wall. Okay, could well be uh, full course shadow or safety car. So, rest direction there, calling the safety car, the only real option. Great race, you're going so well. Alex is completely out of order there. Completely out of order. I know, I know, mate. I'm shaken up really. He went well. that way. I know. And then I know. he just did that. He did change direction twice. I know. It's not. It's not on. I mean, once you're halfway through a move, you can't pull out. Don't worry. You were going so strong as well. You're great on energy. You've done yourself proud today, mate. Don't worry. It's just. I know. It's going to hurt for a bit that one. But... The flags go green. The race gets back underway. Oh, big hit from Gunter. Max Gunter. Massive hit. Gunter in the wall, out of the e -pre. And in his first ever Formula E race, rookie Jake Dennis, BMW's other driver, is in 14th. And he's sandwiched in between the two DS to Cheetah cars and two former champions. Currently behind the Costa, Jeff is behind you. Through the chicane they come. Mortara does activate attack mode, as does Mitch Evans behind. So Rast is up into second place. Here comes Mitch Evans attacking Rast. Rast tries to cover him, but Evans gets the inside, and the Jaguar's up into third place. Rast has so much energy. Is he going for a last lap attack on Mitch Evans? I think the third place battle is the one. Rast, I think, is sitting in behind Mitch Evans and just waiting for the moment to come. Here now is Evans in third. Rast has got more energy. Is he going to go for it? Warning, Rast, powertrain warning. Rast got a warning on the powertrain. For third place, up into the chicane on the final lap. He's Quite far back, Evans covers, Rast goes one way, goes the other. He's trying to force Evans to use more energy, but look how much Rast has. Nick De Vries wins the first race of the Formula E World Championship. Second across the line is Eduardo Mortara. Third is Mitch Evans. Fourth is Rene Rast. Yes! Yes! Well done, well done, mate. Lovely work, guys. Lovely work. Oh, that was fun. Side. Bravo guys, great start to the year. Shame about Sam. You need to calm down, go through the data, try and um, try and process things, see the positive sides and go again tomorrow, but um, what else can you say? The really important about this podium is obviously just to put put Berlin to bed. Um, obviously, it's been hurting everyone since uh, since August, and uh, to come back like that was was, was, was brilliant. So um, I know this means a lot to everyone. It's a nice motivator for the team to have a bit of you know piece of silverware um, after our first day of um, of season seven. Welcome to Formula E. Are we starting? 
maybe think about an early attack. Jake Dennis is in all sorts of trouble. Doesn't want a rookie passing him, does he? Oh, side by side through 20. Oh, did you? What are you doing? What an that bloke is, mate. Absolutely unmanaged and uncontrolled. He hit the back of me and had an airplane crash. Okay, Alex, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. So guys, what do you think? Did you enjoy it? If you did, please hit the subscribe button to see more content.